In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fully optimize your Windows PC in order to get the best performance in Valorant. I'm going to show you all the necessary steps I would recommend you in order to actually improve your FPS here in Valorant and get the least amount of input delay while playing. We all know it's super annoying when your game feels laggy, you feel like you don't have 100% control over your movement in-game and all the actions, and it's just super frustrating. Therefore guys, I prepared here for you a bunch of steps I would recommend you to do on literally any PC in order to make your game feel a lot smoother and run way better. If you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. For the first step guys, I prepared already here for you a folder with a bunch of useful registry tweaks every single one of you can apply to their PC guys. And since these are registry tweaks, this means that these are all services which are already running on Windows. By the way guys, you can get this Valorant Boost Pack straight up from my Discord, which is going to be called the Stripes Community. We have over 70,000 active members, so therefore if you should have any issues, you can also ask here. And all you guys can do is just simply join Discord and just simply type in Valorant and you will already find here Valorant Boost Pack. Click onto it and there you get it guys. This is exactly the file. I'm just going to put it here on the Discord. So yeah, it's always accessible for you guys. And then just simply click on the little download thing and then you get it already here on your desktop. So therefore, you don't have to be afraid that you might get banned or stuff like that. This is 100% not bannable, guys. We're only gonna disable a few services which are going to improve our overall system performance. Something like the game bar itself here on Windows 10 or Windows 11, it works for both of them, guys. You can see here, we can turn off our Xbox game bar. You know, this thing with which you can record gameplay or stuff like that. If you don't need it, please make sure that it's actually turned off, guys. It will give you so much more FPS. So therefore, all we gotta do is click onto it and click onto yes here onto the registry and it's already fully disabled if you later on actually want to use it again guys in the same folder is the same registry tweak again to enable it so therefore don't be right there you can just disable it try it out then we're going to continue next up guys here the game mode which is also super important actually to turn on on your windows 10 or windows 11 pc and what these registry tweaks pretty much do is they make it a lot easier you know you don't have to go here actually into your windows type in like game mode settings and do it all manually you can all just pretty much do it here with one click make sure this one is enabled 100 percent as well click onto yes then we're going to go back here and then we have game recording and broadcasting which is pretty much like windows built-in recording software which we also don't need but it's actually indeed running 24 7 in the background costing you way less performance guys in games so therefore please make sure that you also disable it here you can just simply click here on the disable windows game recording and broadcasting registry again add it to your registry itself and if you later on should need it again and you changed your mind actually then you can enable it here it's all in there guys don't be worried and then just simply gonna restart your pc and come back to the next step and in this next step guys we're going to turn on gpu hardware acceleration which is going to reduce our delay so therefore what we're going to do in the first place is going to our windows search bar and type in game until we find the game mode settings here once again but once we're in here guys we're going to click onto graphic settings it's literally here under related settings open it up and in there we have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and it already says here reduce latency and improve performance you need to restart your pc which we're going to do of course afterwards guys but yeah just simply make sure that this one is really enabled here guys that it's on on and then next up we can also see now that we have graphics performance preference and what we're going to do is go here onto browse and actually select our valorant in the first place so we're going to go here onto local disc then we should already find here um right games valorant live and then we have Valorant Exa guys, yeah? So therefore, just simply select it here guys and make sure that it's also in there. And then we have Bootstrap Package Game. Then we're gonna go onto Options and make sure to actually put it here onto High Performance that we also select actually here our main GPU, you know, not like integrated graphics, stuff like that. Really put it onto High Performance guys. Not power saving or high performance, they actually make a difference. Then we're just simply going to click here onto Save and we also edit it here successfully. And then we're gonna restart our PC once again and come back here. In this next step now guys, we're going to make some changes in our Valorant Game User settings in order to improve our performance. And what I want to do in the first place is press your windows key and r and type in app data then we're going to click onto ok and a new file should open up once we're in here we're going to go onto local and scroll all the way down until we can find valorant which should be somewhere here on the bottom guys there we got it valorant then we're going to click onto saved then we should find config and this is a little bit confusing guys because depending on how many accounts you actually get on your pc you will find different profiles just simply look on the one which you used the last time or which has been the last time modified and therefore you know okay this is like my most up-to-date one which you played with but if you have multiple you probably should do it for each and every single one but as you can see right now guys on my pc i only got one valorant account so therefore i'm gonna click onto it go into windows 
and then we have our game user settings. And once we open it up guys, we're just simply gonna scroll down a little bit until we can find scalability groups. And this is now super important guys, because in here you can put your quality of the game as low as possible for maximum FPS. And the cool thing about this is you can go even lower than in Valorant itself. So therefore what you're going to do is go for each and every single one of them and change all these values to zero to pretty much make sure that you don't have the lowest graphics possible and therefore also maximum FPS. The only thing which you're not going to change is the resolution quality because if you put it on anything below 100%, it's really going to look bad, guys. So therefore, yeah, just simply leave it on 100%, but for the rest, put it all on zero. Something like viewing distance, anti-aliasing, shadow quality, texture quality, effects, everything just simply on the lowest and if you keep it on 1080p or your native normal resolution it's still going to look decent then we're going to click onto save here guys and click it here off and then we go off here and we're already done with this step as well and in this next step guys what i want you to do is open up your nvidia control panel just simply here right click onto it and open it up here on your desktop it's going to take only a few seconds and afterwards we should already see now adjust image settings with preview and please make sure that it's actually onto use the advanced 3d image settings and then you're going to click on to take me there and then once we're in here guys we should now see like a bunch of options here and please just make sure that you copy everything which i have and what's like the most important one is guys that you actually put your low latency mode on on or ultra guys one of these here for a lot of people actually on works better than ultra you kind of have to figure it out with your current monitor you're using right now but yeah, personally for me, I would say on works the best, but then for the rest, just simply make sure that you actually like copy everything and just as I have it, power management mode, you're actually going to put onto preferred maximum performance as well. And then once we scroll down here, guys, we should also see now here texture filtering quality. You're going to put that one as well onto highest performance possible. For the rest, make sure that you copy everything just as I have it here. And with that said, we're also already done here as well. We're going to click onto apply real quick. It's going to apply all of these settings here now into your NVIDIA control panel. And this one will make sure that you have more FPS in Valorant. And yeah, guys, as a final step, what I want you to do is go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in performance until you can find adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Open up this window, guys, and then you can see in here that you can pretty much choose here all of your visual effects on Windows 10 or Windows 11. And you can see I get it on custom, even though I pretty much just put it on to adjust for best performance. So everything gets unchecked, you know, all the unnecessary animations here on your Windows PC. The only one which I actually left on here, guys, is show thumbnails instead of icons. And this is also the only one I would recommend you to actually keep on. For the rest, make sure to uncheck literally everything, guys, because, yeah, you don't need them. These animations just slow down your PC and cost you important FPS. Then click on to apply, OK, restart your PC, and you're good to go. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.